Max Verstappen strongly criticized George Russell for pushing for the qualifying penalty that cost him pole position for Formula One's Qatar Grand Prix, saying, I've never seen someone trying to screw someone over that hard. Verstappen being demoted from first to second on the Lucille grid ultimately only mattered in terms of Verstappen's pole numbers because he immediately overtook Russell at turn one on the first lap on his way to winning Sunday's race. The incident was a peculiar one because both Russell and Verstappen were not on flying laps, and Verstappen felt he was trying to get out of the way of other cars, as he knew he wasn't going for a flying lap two corners later. But Russell approached the kink heading to the final corner at a much higher speed because he was preparing for a flying lap and had to go off track and even wondered if he'd got floor damage and if the reason for Verstappen beating him initially in qualifying was because of the incident. Drivers are regularly investigated by the stewards for driving slowly as they prepare for a qualifying lap, but mitigating circumstances such as traffic or letting a car pass means they are almost always let off. In Verstappen's case in Qatar, he had slowed to let Fernando Alonso and Lando Norris pass when Russell, who was also on a preparation lap, filled his mirrors in the middle of turn 12. The stewards not only found Verstappen had fallen out of the delta time used to measure whether drivers are taking too long on a preparation lap and therefore driven unnecessarily slowly, but in doing so created a dangerous situation with Russell, hence the one-place penalty when other drivers have been let off in the past. More karma, at least from Red Bull's perspective, came Verstappen's way when Norris was investigated for failing to slow under yellow flags. The incident happened after Alex Albon's Williams shed one of its wing mirrors on the pit straight and double-waved yellow flags were shown, presumably because a marshal was preparing to run on the track to retrieve it. Verstappen spotted the double-waved yellows and backed off, but noticed that when he did so, Norris continued flat out with his DRS overtaking aid wide open. He was quickly on the team radio to send a message to his friends in the steward's office that Norris had broken one of F1's most important safety rules. It took the stewards several laps to investigate the incident, but when they did, Norris was banged to rights. A 10-second drive-through penalty was issued, which, short of a disqualification, is as strict a penalty as the F1 rulebook allows. From that point onwards, the win was undisputedly Verstappen's. In some ways, a scrappy win, but one that Verstappen will undoubtedly take pride in.